Sudan's army says it's planning to withdraw from ceasefire talks with the paramilitary rapid support forces before they even begin. More than one million Sudanese have now fled since the fighting began in mid-April to neighboring countries. About 420,000 have sought refuge in neighboring Chad. Well, let's speak to our correspondent, Hiba Morgan. She joins us now from the Sudanese capital, Khartoum. Hiba, there was the hope that this was a moment that everyone would come back to the negotiating table. What's happened? Well, for the past two days, the paramilitary rapid support forces has been attacking a military base in this uh, western part of the country, specifically specifically in South Darfur, in the city of Niala. Now, that's the second largest city in Sudan after Khartoum, and it's also where the army has one of its largest military bases, and that base fell under the control of the paramilitary rapid support forces in the early hours of Thursday morning. And that's the reason why the army, uh, as per sources, is uh, in Tending to withdraw from the talks, uh, well, indirect talks at that, uh, with the rapid support forces in the Saudi city of Jeddah. Now, uh, it's worth noting that just hours before the talks were due to start, the army did release a statement saying that the reason why they're resuming talks uh, after the invitation from Saudi Arabia and the other mediator, the United States, is because it wants to alleviate and to ease the humanitarian suffering that has been, uh, that's the result of the conflict, but that it will continue to fight uh, the paramilitary rapid support forces. So uh, the loss of Niala, uh, the military base in Niala, the, the second largest uh, city in, in, in Sudan and one of the largest military bases is the reason why those talks that is supposed to be happening in the Saudi city of Jeddah may not happen uh, and suffering of Sudanese, whether it's here in the capital, Khartoum, or Niala will continue. Uh, Hiba, what's the situation like on the ground there at the moment? Does the RSF still hold all that territory in Khartoum? The RSF is spread uh, around many parts of the capital, Khartoum, especially in the southern and the eastern parts of the capital. Now, the army is in control of parts of Umdurman, especially the northern part of the city of Umdurman in the capital, Khartoum. But both sides have been trying to uh, get a decisive win over the other in the capital, Khartoum. The loss of Niala in South Darfur has given the RSF an upper hand, but I, I, it's not clear yet if it will have any impact in terms of the overall uh, uh, scene uh, and uh, structures of the conflict here in the capital Khartoum and elsewhere around the country. The RSF says that it is in control of many parts of the capital, but there is a lot of army presence in many parts of the uh, of the city of Umdurman in Khartoum and in uh, other parts as well. So no side has a decisive upper hand in the capital Khartoum for them to claim that they are the victors in this conflict that is going on for more than six months now. Hiba Morgan there with the latest for us from the Sudanese capital. Thank you, Hiba.